So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a regular pentagon from a square, and we're going to assume each side is two units in length, each side of the square. Well, first you want to fold the paper in half vertically like so, and then unfold. Next, what you want to do is fold from the bottom right corner, right here, to the top midpoint, the midpoint of the top edge, which we just marked. And I'm just going to mark that a bit clearer with a pen. And we're just going to fold down like so. Once you have this side length from the Pythagorean theorem, we know that if this length here is 2 and this length at the bottom is 1, then this length here must be the square root of 5. But for a regular pentagon, we want the side length to be the square root of 5 minus 1. So how do we do that? Well, first fold along the line you just made, and then take the bottom edge and fold it to the edge of the fold you just made, so that you'll get something kind of like a kite or an ice cream cone. Next, what you want to do is take the tip and fold it up to the corner right there. And if you do this right, it'll be along a crease that you already made. We're just extending it throughout the entire paper. Now unfold everything, and that side right here is the square root of 5 minus 1. But we need that side to be copied over here. So what we're going to do is take this point right here where the crease meets the edge to that intersection and the fold should meet the top midpoint. This fold will take some adjustment and practicing and you're probably not going to get it right on the first try. But don't despair because it's a tricky fold and, it, and if you're using a square with slight imperfections it might not turn out properly. But once you have it, fold down the rest of the way and then take the corner of that and then fold that along the line that's behind it, the square root of 5 line. And that should meet at the top corner as well. Now we've copied that length, that side length of square root of 5 minus 1 over to the side, it's time to fold our pentagon. Fold the paper in half again, and then fold along that line up there with both layers so that you can copy the side onto the other side of the paper. Next, take the top corner and fold it down to the right side, like so. Then, take this triangle and fold it along its bottom edge, like so. Then, take the edge on the left and fold it up to the bottom edge of the triangle, like so. Next, you want to fold that part behind and fold basically where those two edges meet, like so. And what you'll end up with is something like this. Now you want to fold alongside the edge for this triangle, and that is the fold that's going to be making our pentagon. Now you want to crease it firmly, maybe use something like a bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, a spoon is fine. And then once you unfold everything, you'll have your regular pentagon. And I'm just gonna crudely draw it out in the pen just so that it's a bit clear for everyone to see. And that is how you make a regular pentagon out of a square using origami. So let's say you were given a side length from which you wanted to make a regular pentagon. The first thing you want to do is make a paper strip that has the same width as the side length of the pentagon that you want to make. We're going to make a simple knot. If you folded paper stars, you probably know this process. So bring the two ends on top of each other, take the top end and pass it through the loop at the bottom, and then pull on the two ends to tighten. They shouldn't be too tight, mind you. Uh, the edges of the excess paper, the edges of the excess paper strips, should not have any extra creases where they meet the other bits of paper, but all the creases should, should still sit flush with each other. It should be as tight as possible without 
making any extra folds. And once you trim off the edges right there, it's as good as new, and that is a quicker way to fold a regular pentagon.